one of the best uses I found for scrap paracord is is to mount your iPhone to your rearview mirror. It has to mount it to your rearview mirror so you can record videos like this when you're driving around and stuff. You look, you look pretty cool. It's like all those other guys who are um, recording videos. Anyway, I'm on my way. I'm taking my kids to their house and uh, just want to show you guys how to do this. Now, I took two scrap pieces of paracord and I made a slip knot. And a slip knot is an adjustable knot so you can adjust the tightness or the looseness of it. And I used to because it kind of holds the iPhone more stable versus one. If you use one, it kind of acts as a pivot uh, for the iPhone. But when you use two, it holds it stable. And I have it on my eye. Uh, what are you back there doing? Oh, fixing this. I don't like it back. I'm so tired. And I have it on my iPhone. On, and the iPhone's attached to the rearview mirror. So you hear the pieces right here. There are two scrap pieces of paracord. And I think they're about, I use, what's this? Well, how long do you think these are? Two foot. About two foot, but you really don't need two foot. I say you use about a foot to be safe. Unless you use, unless you have hanging down, dangling and stuff. But yeah, this would be awesome for you to record, I guess your thoughts and maybe even instructions. You can read off your instructions while you're driving to work or from work if you don't have a lot of time or if you crunch for time and I guess superimpose the, the audio of the instructions later on when you do the actual video when you're doing the paracording and stuff so yeah you don't need a lot of equipment in all actuality or actually I was looking for a mount for the car earlier this sun's crazy looks like I'm overexposed I was looking for a mount for the car earlier and the cheapest one I could find was 29 bucks it was a suction cup like mount so I said, man, I've used paracord to do some pretty neat things around the house and some other stuff. Why not try it for this? So I went on YouTube and looked up uh, videos for mounting your iPhone or your car as a camera. And a guy said his son got some elastic out of his wife's sewing kit. So I said, elastic? Hmm. I bet a slip knot will work for elastic. I could take the place of elastic. So that's what I use. Two pieces of paracord, slip knot, attach it to the rearview mirror, and you're good to go. The other thing is make sure you pay attention or find out or be aware of your local jurisdictional guidelines for recording videos while driving. I don't want you to end up getting a ticket while you're recording. So do this at your own risk. The fourth thing is, uh, or the second thing I should say, in terms of audio, you can use the internal microphone on whatever device you decide to use. You can use an external microphone. I mean, just plug it in to the, uh, micro the microphone port of your device. Or, if you want to, you can actually record your voice on a digital recorder. Later on, when you edit the video, just sync it up that way. But even if you just use an internal microphone to make these videos, making a how-to video is better than nothing. And when we make these, we share our knowledge with the rest of the Paracord community. So, all right. This is sweet baby James. And my kids are back there doing goofy things. Take care. Have a good Sunday. And have a good holiday. Paracord this.